You know what? I'm in shock. I don't even know what to say. Um, <laughs> it's just incredible. This is the new MacBook Pro M4, the most affordable MacBook Pro on the market. And let me tell you, it completely shocked me. Not just because of its price, but because of what it can actually do. Stick around because I'm about to show you some actual real world tests that will make you question everything you thought you knew about this model and benchmarks. And trust me, you don't want to miss this. Now, as a content creator, I focus a lot on video editing and multitasking because Let's face it, that's my daily life. So if you're here looking for benchmark or gaming tests, I'll touch on those briefly, but this review is really tailored for creators like me. And one more thing, this machine completely defies everything I thought I knew about it. So let's start with benchmarks, because that's what most reviewers do, right? And as expected, the MacBook Pro M4 falls behind the M4 Pro. It has fewer performance cores, less GPU cores, only 120 gigs of memory bandwidth, and the numbers reflect that. On paper, it's just okay. You might even think I need something better because this can handle what I do. But you know what? This don't even matter. Benchmarks are helpful as a general reference. They don't reflect the reality of the everyday workflows for most people. They push computers to their absolute limit. Let me explain. So imagine you're watching a car review and the reviewer only does drag races, like one after another, full throttle, and after 20 drag races, they say, oh, uh, this car overheats, it smells like burning clutch, there's smoke from the engine, the radiator is going crazy, and the fuel consumption is insane. I mean, really? Because if that's all you saw, you'd probably think, this car is terrible, right? But no one drives like that in real life. You don't floor it for 10 minutes straight. You don't drag race to the grocery store. My point is, that's exactly what benchmarks do to laptops. They push machines to their absolute limit. No wonder the fans are loud. The temperature spikes and the performance drops. But that's not real life. That's not how most of us use a laptop every day. Actually, it's a completely distorted picture. And honestly, it's making people make really bad buying decisions. But here's the thing. When I tested the MacBook Pro M4 in a real-world scenario, doing actual creative work, the results were nothing short of incredible. Okay, so this is the exact same project that I used on my M4 Pro review. So again, S-Log3 uh, format here in, on the A-Roll, 4K, uh, 10-bit, 422. Uh, what is happening here? Well, there's color grading. Everything else is 4K footage from my iPhone. There's also uh, all this, let me show you, this audio treatment happening. And look how snappy this thing is. Scratches, dents, and other damage if you're not careful. Protecting our investment is just a... Everything happening on a... Let me say this again because I'm still in shock. Everything happening on the MacBook Pro base model. <laughs> See, having a portable SSD is compact, fast, and reliable. Like it, it just works. It's super snappy. There's no problem at all. And for your surprise, check this out. There's all these the tabs open. It. Everything works perfectly. Uh, and there's a 4K video here. At the same time. And another one here. Like, I mean, and if I show you the activity monitor, as you can see here, uh, this is a RAM that is using, so 14 gigs. Sometimes it was 13, now it's 14. There's 155 in swap. The GPU is <laughs> still uh, a lot of room, and the CPU, as you can see, nothing really heavy happening so i'm really surprised with this and by the way if i close all these tabs let me see what happens oh there you go because that is not how i usually work like with all those tabs so the ram already dropped drastically which again i'm 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 just amazed with this computer this is running like this for like an hour or so and the computer uh, right now is uh, on the stand, but it was always sitting on the desk. And the temperature is non-existent. It's totally normal. There was no fan noise. It was always turned off. 
it never kicked in. And as you can see, not only the RAM dropped off, but also the GPU, like, it's just amazing. You know what? I'm in shock. I don't even know what to say. Um, <laughs> it's just incredible. Uh, how the hell, this is, just a reminder, this is the base model, you know? The M4 MacBook Pro uh, with 16 gigs of RAM, uh, 512 uh, gigs of storage, it, it, it just works. <laughs> Incredible. So in my test, I used the exact same 10 minutes 4K S-Log3 project that I tested on the M4 Pro. Heavy color grading, motion effects, audio filters, transitions, and you know what? It handled it everything like a champ. No proxies, full quality playback, snappy performance, and the export time, just 30 seconds slower than the M4 Pro. That's insane, considering this costs hundreds of dollars less. Even with multiple Safari tabs open, including two YouTube videos playing in 4K, there was no noticeable slowdown. CPU and GPU utilization stayed low, and RAM usage hovered around 13 gigs, with just a small amount of swap memory being used. And the fans? Dead silent. Temperature completely normal. It's buttery smooth, and for most creators, this is all you need. So, who is this for? If you're a content creator working with standard 4K footage, whether it's from a smartphone or a mirrorless camera, this is perfect. It's an incredible machine for video editing, multitasking, and even light professional workloads. I mean, it works perfectly for what I'm doing here. Now, if you work with heavier formats like S-Log3 or RED footage and use tons of effects, I would recommend upgrading to 24 gigs of RAM. Even then, you'll still save $200 compared to the base M4 Pro. But beyond that, if your workflow is extremely demanding, the M4 Pro becomes the obvious choice. Just bear in mind that, aside from the chip and the port being Thunderbolt 4 instead of 5, which still is extremely fast, everything else is exactly the same as the M4 Pro or Max. You still get the fantastic build quality, the great display, the same number of ports, the same design, the same camera, the same audio, everything is identical, but for $1,600. So the MacBook Pro M4 is not just a budget option, it's a serious contender. Honestly, it might be the perfect choice for creators who want performance without breaking the bank. And while benchmarks might make you think otherwise, real-world results tell us a completely different story. So if you're looking for unmatched value and top-notch performance without breaking the bank, the MacBook Pro M4 might just be your next laptop. Let me know in the comments if you agree or if you pick something else. That's it for this video. I'm Andre, this is Andre Creates, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.